Whoa, welcome back to the channel. Uh, apologize for the long hiatus. Uh, we've been working on getting our house ready for sale. Uh, bought a house and this one is sold. So now I've got about six weeks to finish this thing and get the hell out of here. And as you can see, it's nowhere really further along than it was back in whatever, February, March or something. Let's see uh, the engine here. The engine at least is almost ready. Um, finally, I pressed in a new bearing here uh, for this idler. Okay, I thought the bearing was shot, but I was just rubbing these two together. Anyway, so this is this is ready. So I can put my uh, belts on here. You know, it's it's looking as cherry as it possibly can. But right now, uh, the focus is. Uh, so this is the transmission that came out of the uh, seized engine. So it's the original trans that this train, this engine, uh, original trans that this vehicle came with. Um, as you see, I've been venting it upside down here. Uh, I drained all the fluid. And I have it upside down now. So I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do here is change out the gasket, the filter, and also the input shaft. And there's really nothing interesting to show you here. Um, just take off the bolts, a couple bolts here, pull it off, pull off the filter, pull the thing on. My microphone's about to die, so I'm going to also cut this uh, video short. Um, but the next video, because I'm trying to get uh, one task a day done here. Um, so next one hopefully will be with this transmission, married back up to the engine. And actually... The one thing I do have to do still is a big job is pull out this here control arm because it's bent and I have the new OEM control arm to go in. Um, I wanted to do these fuel pumps as well. Just make sure those are good. But uh, I do have to do one rust repair kind of deal. You can see here where I sheared these bolts off. So those I'm going to go in and put rivnuts nuts in. Uh, so you can just bolt it in from the bottom. I don't remember what the heck is going on here. Oh, that's it. You kind of see what's going on a little bit, maybe. There's a screw with the bolt head. So if I cut this section out, I think somebody's already been in here. Somebody's been in here freaking around because that is definitely not an OEM cut. It's all nasty and and, and uh, corroded. Anyway, I'll open that up a little bit more. Put a steel plate in there, some riv nuts, and then you can just bolt it all in nicely from the bottom. And that part goes right here. So you can just run your bolts up through in here and it'll go together very nicely. So on to the transmission job and I'll keep you posted in a second. All right, I got the pan off and it's been uh, draining upside down overnight and now I flipped it. Uh, so you can see there's quite a bit of dirt deposits here. Where, here's what the inside of the pan looks like. Um, I don't see any magnets here, but yeah, you see dirt, you know, wear on it, whatever. Uh, this trans is pretty easy to get at. I'm not going to go ahead and rebuild the whole damn thing. I know it was a driver because uh, the engine seized unless it was done at park, but whatever. I assume it was most likely from this. So yeah, you can see there's <clears throat> quite a bit of junk that's accumulated in it. Hopefully these are just soft particles, clutch material wear. Um, long story short, if the train starts giving me issues, uh, then I'll pull it out and rebuild it. It's cheap, pretty quick. Uh, but right now I don't have the time to, to do so. So like I said, all I'm doing is input shaft seal, filter, and transpan gasket for now. Anything else develops, we'll ink it out and do a full overhaul on it. Got the new filter on. And this is cool. Actually, what was uh, interesting, these uh, Phillips head bolts in this Mercedes trans. I wouldn't think they would have something like that inside of a trans. Interesting. This is a marvel of engineering. This is the most sexiest, most beautiful transmission pan gasket and interface I've ever seen. This rolled edge is fantastic. This gasket envelops it on three sides. It sits and fits beautifully. I wish all pan gaskets were made like this.
All right, quick update here. <clears throat> Been uh, sick all week, so I've had very slow progress, but this is pretty much all together. You know, starters mounted, all the exhausts mounted, the heat shields are mounted. Um, I gotta drop by Ace tomorrow. I gotta pick up a little, I think this is an M7 bolt for here. Otherwise, the exhaust is all on, transmission's on, new input shaft seal, uh, filter, gasket, got a new mount here. So that should be good to go. This is the transmission out of the original vehicle because this one has detents. Um, the one I pulled out of the junkyard has no detents on it. So I don't know what's wrong with it, but I'm not messing with it. Um, waiting for some uh, power, not the power steering, the water pump and power steering, the crankshaft. It's got a double, um, what do you call it, belt. Uh, I ordered the same part number from AutoZone. I ordered one by accident, you know, from uh, FCP. Um, I didn't realize there's two, that was a while ago. So whatever, I ordered two from AutoZone. They ended up being different sizes, different thicknesses, same part number. So I just ordered two from Rock Auto uh, and they were like 90 cents a piece. So I'm just waiting for those to come in, but this can go back in as well. <clears throat> Finally got the control arm off the back. Frankly, I don't quite still understand what was making it, um, you know, positive cambered out. You can see that it is, in fact, I don't know, maybe bowed somewhere here. I can't really tell. But just by having these sitting as they are, you can actually see here how this one is tilted outwards, giving it positive camber. So something is obviously bent in it. Um, I don't know what, but I'm just going to swap over these components. And here, this boot is all messed up. But frankly, um, I don't know. I'll see if I can find a cheap axle shaft. If not, uh, I've had this on my shelf for like 10, 12 years. And I was going to toss it. But right now, it'll actually work real well to go into that. And then, finally, we could start... Getting this and this all back into here. And uh, I have very little time left because uh, we're moving to New York State. And I got to get my entire shop plus my house, everything ready. <clears throat> we got to be out of here uh, August 15th. And actually, all my vehicles, I'm, uh, I'm moving them August 4th. So I got like 30 days on the dot to get this thing at least all together, if not a runner, at least so it can roll and I can winch it up my trailer. So uh, I'll try to keep up with some, some more videos here. Uh, I'm also, as you can see, I'm working on my trailer. Bought it, yeah, brakes are all good, buddy. Brakes are all good, everything's fine. Yeah, right, it ain't fine at all. Caliper seized up as I was pulling out. So yeah, anyway, whatever, quick brake job on the trailer as well. So what's another oven, what's another fire in the oven?